I don't quite know why, but I have been kind of dreading filming this video. And actually I do think I know why, and I'll talk about that later in the video, but what you're gonna see is a comparison between these two bags, the Coach Emery, the regular size one, and then the 21 centimeter one. This one still has the tags on it, the big one, because I'm not sure I'm keeping it. I am keeping the little one for sure. So let's get into this and I'll tell you why I might still return this and what I'm dreading. These bags, did I just switch them? Were they on the other side. It's YouTube magic. These are both part of the big end of year or maybe beginning of year at this point, sale at Coach. So if you're interested in these bags, it's a fantastic time to buy them. I'll tell you what I paid. I'll tell you what kind of deal you can get. We're gonna compare them. I'll give you dimensions. We'll talk about accessorizing them, some different strap options. I have a little bit of a secret to share with you about the straps. We'll do some what fits. We'll talk about materials. We'll look at the pockets and what's different about the layout to these bags. I'll do some mod shots for you. Hopefully everything you could possibly want to know about these bags We'll even talk about the Hermes Evelyn a little bit, which came first, so stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. All right, like I said, we're gonna be comparing the Coach Emery bags today. Let's start by talking about price and availability at this point. I'm not sure if Coach is making any new Emery bags or if they've made everything they're gonna make for now and they're all on clearance at this point. But the current sale that's going on as I'm filming this, hopefully it'll still be going on when you see this, is that these bags are half price. So the regular size one, I'm looking down at my notes here, went originally for $400, so it's on sale for 200. It's actually like 197 something. And the Emery 21, the smaller version, was originally 300 so it's on sale for 150. However, last I checked, the smaller one was sold out on the sale, but a little tip for you, check the Coach outlet because I have seen these there also. When I checked today, they weren't currently there, but they could very well pop up, so don't give up on that. Both of these come in lots of colors and different combinations. I'm gonna put them down so I'm not just holding them up the whole time. On the sale today, the large size does come in a version that's more expensive. It's the Varsity Stripe that has some strips of leather here, different colors. That one was originally $450 and it's on sale for $225, so it's still not bad. They also come in other solid colors. This one is available in black and navy, as well as the horse and carriage print in a few different colors and some color blocked versions. Some with neutral colors, some with really bright colors. So if you're interested in this style of bag, there's probably a color combination that you will love. Let's talk for a second about a little bit of backstory on these bags before we get into to the actual comparison because a lot of people compare this, myself included, to the Hermes Evelyn bag. So if I hold this over here, you can see the two pictures and compare their very similar looking, right? Of course, the Hermes Evelyn is several thousand dollars and you can get this for only 200. Now, I have some Coach Cassie bags and I have said before that Coach basically duped Louis Vuitton's Pochette Matisse in designing their Coach Cassie bag. There are, I found out by saying that, some die-hard Coach fans in the world. I have been really into Coach bags in the last year or so. They've come out with some really beautiful things. However, I am not super knowledgeable on the history of Coach. There are people much more knowledgeable than I. So I did a little research today because somewhere, I think on some video of mine, perhaps, maybe it was on someone else's, I don't know. Someone was talking about the Coach Emery and saying they were clearly a Coach fan. They were saying, oh, next people are gonna say that the Emery is a dupe of the Hermes Evelyn, as if it isn't. Because people told me that Coach came out with a bag, I forget the name of it now, but similar to the Cassie and the Pochette Matisse before Vuitton released the Pochette Matisse. And so this person seemed to think that Coach came out with the Emery or something similar before the Hermes Evelyn. So I did a little research. There is a version of this bag and not called the Emery, but it's very similar looking. It's called the Coach 9966. And I'll put a picture of that up here. So you can see, very similar, right? I didn't find an exact release date on that bag. It was around the year 2000, late 1990s, 
early 2000s, right around there is when that bag appeared on the market. I also did some research on the Hermes Evelyn. That bag was originally designed in 1978, and it was designed as an equestrian bag, not meant to be carried as a handbag. It wasn't until around the mid 2000s when the coach 9966 also called the Legacy Zip, had already been out, that the Evelyn moved over to the leather goods department and people started carrying them as handbags. And of course, it's really blown up in the last few years. You see them all over the place. I also did not see a specific year that the Emery bag was released, but I do remember just from my personal experience, I remember the Evelyn being suddenly a very big thing, seeing it everywhere, and then seeing the Emery bag. So correct me if I'm wrong about that. Typically, the mid-range designers like Coach tend to dupe the higher-end luxury designers and not the other way around. Not that it doesn't happen, but that tends to be the pattern. I think, in my opinion, the Emery is intended to be a dupe of the Evelyn. An update of the 9966 that Coach had already produced, but updated to look more like the Evelyn and to take advantage of its popularity. Similar, oh, the Coach Court was the previous version of the Cassie. Similar story there, I think. So there's the backstory for you. Now let's get into the boring dimensions and get that over with and then get into the more fun stuff. The regular size Emery at the widest point here is 11 and a half inches. When I measured the height of these bags, I measured from the bottom center to right here. I didn't measure the highest point because I'm thinking you wanna know how much you can fit in here. So I measured to the top so you don't have things sticking out, right? So that height is 9.75 inches. And then the depth on the bag is 3.25 inches. And notice the way these bags are shaped, they're wider at the base and they taper up thinner at the top. The Emery 21, as its name suggests, is 21 centimeters across the bottom, which equates to 8.25 inches. And I'll hold these two bags up so you can see side by side. So 8.25 compared to 11.5. The height on this one, 7.25 inches compared to 9.75. And the depth. I was surprised at how close the depth was on both of these. So obviously the 21 is a lot smaller, but the depth is very similar. The big one is 3.25 inches deep and the little one is three inches deep. So there's only a quarter of an inch difference there. And that does include the piping, by the way. Okay, now let's get to the fun stuff. One of the first things that I notice when I'm thinking about the Coach Emery compared to the Hermes Evelyn is that the Evelyn is very smushy. It doesn't seem to have a lot of structure, whereas the Emery does look like it has structure. If you've only seen pictures of it, it looks like a, a fairly solid bag that you wouldn't be able to smush around so much. This one I still have stuffed and I haven't taken all the plastic and everything off because again, I'm not totally sure yet if I'm keeping it. We'll talk about that in a minute. But the little one, but the little one I did decide to keep and I don't have anything in it at the moment. We'll look at the inside in more detail in a minute. But you can see this really is pretty smushy. The only place where it's it feels more structured is right at the base. I can't really, I mean, I can smush it some, but like the corners, it feels like there's, well, I could still smush them, but it feels like there's something there that's preventing me from smushing it a little bit. It's not that there's anything inside it. It's just that there's, um, because of the curve and the piping and just the way that it's constructed, it's a little more solid on the corners. It's harder to smush, but the rest of it is still really smushy. The leathers on these are gorgeous. You can see it's a pebbled leather and inside both of the pockets, I'll hold this one up because I think you'll be able to see it a little better. So right inside the outer pocket on both bags, it says genuine glove tanned pebbled leather and it's quite soft. It's it's just a really nice quality leather. You can tell that right away. Let's talk about the straps for a minute. Both of the bags come with a long leather, nice and wide, comfortable crossbody strap. And both of them, on both sides of the bag and both sizes of bags, they have three grommets where you can adjust the length of the bag. So really you could have, I don't know, I can't do the math right now. It's like, I'm filming this on New Year's Eve and it's getting late. So figuring out math 
math right now, don't ask. But there are several options for different bag lengths. You could do two on the lowest, two on the highest, two in the middle, or you could do one on the lowest, one on the highest, mix it up, you know, whatever works for you, whatever you find is the right length. So you can wear it crossbody or you can wear it on your shoulder, like as a long shoulder bag. But let me show you a little tip here. This is the sort of secret thing I mentioned earlier. If both of those are too long for you for any reason, here's something you can do. You can make it this short. The way you do that is you just take the strap off completely, you fold it in half, you run half of it through the buckle right here, and then you run both ends through this one buckle, and now you have a shoulder bag. Let me demonstrate. So there's your shoulder bag, very nice. I think the larger size I prefer with this strap length. I think that looks really nice. It's also really comfortable. I found that for me, and let me model this with the other bag, I found that for me, even on the longest length on both sides of that strap there, that it sits a little higher than I'd really like it to. And I'm 5'3 for reference. I wish that it sat maybe this much lower, another two or three inches lower. So that's crossbody. You know, maybe somebody my height, but thinner, it would sit longer on and be a little more comfortable that way. It is what it is. And then as a shoulder, a long shoulder bag, it sits pretty low. I can't even get my hand to the bottom of the bag there where I easily could here, I can get it way below. Um, <clears throat> this is how I would want to carry this particular bag. And I'll tell you when we get to the what fits part of the video, why I would want something this small when I tend to prefer big bags. A couple more tips about the straps on these bags. If you go to the coach outlet right now, I think they'll still be there when this video goes up. They have some straps. I'll put pictures of them here. They have four different color options that are made specifically for the bag and they're only $20 each so like you could get all of them if you wanted. I'm about to order one or two of them and I can show you in another video like a little update how they look but they're leather on the bottom and then that sort of webbing strap that's really comfortable and then they and they're different colors so you can add a little color to your bag that way so that's a great option by the way I will have those linked below I will also have the bags linked below if I can find any of the 21s I will link those below but I'll definitely have the regular size Emery's that are in the coach sale right now and then something I wanted to try with the straps and let me go ahead and do this on this bigger bag I want to try attaching a third party strap that has clips on it and just see what happens, see if that works or if it's a disaster. This strap, I think this goes well with this bag, is from Dress Up Your Purse. So I will have them linked below. I have a discount code with them for 15% off anything on their website. So but I would clip that. The clip fits, that's good. And they have straps in lots of different colors if you don't like this one. I know when I do this, that this strap can move around, the clip can move around, but I wanted to see how it would look and how feasible it is. So here it is. Here it is at the shortest length on my shoulder here. And that's good. My hand can still reach the bottom there. And then if I did, let's see, here's the longest length. That's gonna be too long for crossbody. That falls way down there. But I can adjust this easily to whatever length I want. And this is a pretty good one, I think, for crossbody, on me anyway. So that would work well. I think that strap looks nice and this doesn't bother me too much. It may bother some of you, but it's a way to personalize the bag and switch it up a little and have fun with it. While I have the strap off, let me go ahead and put it back on the regular way and I'll show you at the longest length where this falls on me. So here is crossbody, longest length there. Looks nice, but I also like that other strap on it to give it a little pattern and color. And then the longest length hanging from my shoulder. Next, I'm gonna show you another couple of ways to accessorize these bags. And then I'm gonna show you all the pockets and all that stuff. Then we'll do a what fits. On one side of both of these bags, there's a little clip where they have the coach tag hanging. I really like this one so much better than the usual one that's just the leather. I love that it has the little horse and carriage. It's really pretty and the extra metal pieces. But that can be removed or you can leave it on. I'm gonna take this one off for a minute. And you can use that D-ring to add other charms. For example, here's the Basquiat Rexy charm that I picked up a few months ago. I will say this, as someone who has a collection of bag charms from a few different fashion houses, including places like Louis Vuitton, Coach has the best bag charms. 
hands down. They are very high quality, they are thick, I've talked about them before. I will link the video on this so that you can see me talking about this. If I can find some other ones, I'll link those too, but I have several coach bag charms. They're inexpensive relative to the high-end luxury bag charms. Look for them on sale, like in the coach sale that's going on right now. Look for them on the coach outlet. They're just lots of great charms to be had. Also look on eBay for older charms, but I love that there's a great place to put a bag charm on these bags. And I will link some bag charms, of course. If you're really going for the Evelyn look, or you just want an equestrian look, you could add one of these charms to the side of the bag. That'd be cute. You could also loop it through the strap there, or clip it to that extra buckle. You could even slip it through the hole in the zipper pull if you don't want it on the side of the bag, but you want it more on a flat part of the bag. If you don't want something quite so big and obvious, you could clip on a little tassel like this one from Dress Up Your Purse. Very cute, gives you some instant color. You could add multiple tassels. On the larger bag, you could add the double tassel. That looks nice. I wouldn't necessarily do the Vachetta against this color. Dress Up Your Purse has these in a few different colors and the mini tassels in all kinds of different colors. Another option if you need some small items like cards or chapstick or something, maybe even hand sanitizer, to be super convenient and easy to reach, or if your bag is just full of other things, you could attach one of these pouches on the outside of the bag there, or a Louis Vuitton clay. It's a cute bag charm and also convenient. Another option to give your bag some color is you can tie a twilly to one side of it. So you could tie that to the D-ring, or I put it on the buckle since I have this doubled over. The bottom of the buckle is free as another place to hang bag charms and twillies and whatever. And that's really pretty. You can tie it in a bow or just do a simple little knot like I just did. So those are several options for accessorizing your Emery bag. Now let's look at the construction, the pockets, all that stuff. The regular sized one on the outside has this one big pocket that takes up almost the entire front. There's no zipper, there's no magnet, it's just a big slip pocket. On the other side of the bag, there's a zipped pocket, so you have a little more security. It also has these little tabs so you can hold on to that when you're doing the zipper either way. The inside of this pocket is a textured, like a canvas sort of, which is interesting and I didn't know until I just opened it for the first time because the inside of the bag and the inside of the slip pocket are like a microfiber in a burgundy. The Emery 21 has the same big slip pocket right here that takes up most of this side of the bag and it has the same microfiber in burgundy, at least in the black bag. The other side of the 21 has nothing, it is plain. So besides size, that is one difference right away between these two bags. The big one has a zippered compartment that the little one does not have. Now to show you the inside of this, I have to take out all the stuffing. Both bags are zipped on the top. The Evelyn from Hermes is not zipped. It's just open and there's a little strap that goes across. And like I said, the interior of this bag is that burgundy microfiber. On one side, you have a pretty good sized slip pocket. It's lined in leather. It has that Coach Creed there. And then this side of the pocket, you can see is that sort of textured canvas, whereas the rest of it is the burgundy microfiber. And as far as pockets and organization inside the bag, that is it. The rest of it is just one big open space. There's your zipper on top, and then the inside of this bag is exactly the same. You have the same pocket and nothing on the other side, no other organization just a big open space with one pocket inside. One thing I noticed about the small bag is that I found it difficult to zip. With the zipper, it does have this leather tab here. And it's a metal zipper and this one has a metal zipper pull. And it just, when I start to zip it, it gets stuck here and I have to play with it to get it to go. And then if I pull on it from the other end, it doesn't move and there's not a place to hold on to it, like there's not a tab. So I have to just stick my finger in and hold on to the edge of the leather and it's just difficult to get it going. So I'd say that's the one flaw that I have found in this small bag so far. Let me try the larger bag and see if I have that same problem. Now this one, the leather tab is still in plastic and it does have a metal zipper that is still in plastic too. I'm just gonna hold on to that. Same issue right away, but this one seems to be easier than the small one. 
Yeah, this one's definitely easier than the small one. And the zipper on the outside is very easy. Now the reason that I wanted this small 21 centimeter emery bag is because I thought it would be great for two things basically. One, quick errands, like a quick grocery run where I don't want to be carrying something that's bulky or heavy. I want to be hands-free. And also for walking the dogs, same thing. I want to be hands-free. I want to have a bag on me so I can fit essentials, my phone, my keys, maybe an extra roll of poop bags, but not carry much in this. My intention is not to fill this bag, but just to have it be something that'll hold a couple of things that I need. And I carried it to the grocery store recently and it was perfect for that. I was able to put, I don't have my keys here, but I was able to take a card holder and slip that into the inside pocket. Now that, I couldn't get it in width-wise. I had to put it in like this. So that pocket is not very wide, but I was able to put that in there, my keys in the bottom of the bag, my phone, in the slip pocket, a pen in the bag, and my grocery list in the slip pocket. And that's all I needed, perfect for that. Well, and a hand sanitizer. You could definitely fit more than that in this bag, but that is all I needed it for. You could fit a small wallet. There's a sunglass case. That's gonna take up a lot of space in this bag. If I put it in, it's gonna stick out the top. So that gives you a little bit of a better idea of the size of it, right? It's small, but it'll hold your essentials. And it's not nearly as small as some of the other small bags that we've seen out there, right? Here's why I was a little nervous to do this video. This is the part of the video that I've been dreading. Um, and that's what fits in this bag. And it's mostly, it's how to get my stuff in it. Because this bag, I don't think of for me as a bag that I would just carry a couple things in. This would be like handbag where I'm carrying the stuff I usually carry. What concerns me is how narrow the bag is and then secondly how tall it is. I'm used to carrying several pouches like having a space maybe this big to be able to put all those pouches next to each other and that is just not the footprint of this bag. I tried a bag once like this several years ago if I can find the link, I will link it below. It was a Henry Bendel bag. They're closed, so I can't link the bag itself. I don't even remember what it was called, but it was another bag that kind of looks like the Evelyn. And once I did the what fits in it, it just didn't work for me. I found that once I, it had more pockets if I remember correctly. And I found once I started putting things in the pockets that that took up a lot of space in the bag and it was difficult to get down into the bag because the stuff in the pockets got in your way. So in that sense, I'm kind of glad that this bag only has that one pocket because I know that all I would want to use that for is something like a card holder. I also know I could put my card holder in the zipped compartment or in the slip pocket on the outside. That's definitely where I would keep my phone. Plenty of room in here for the phone and the card holder, but I think I'd want my card holder to be more secure. So having it in the zipper or better yet in the pocket inside would be a better option for me. And because I love the look of this bag so much and I want it to work for me, I've been trying to figure out in my head, I haven't played with the bag yet because I was waiting to do that with you, I've been trying to figure out how to do that, how to get my stuff in here in a way that works. What SLGs, for example, might be the best ones to use in a tall, narrow bag like this. So I usually carry my pochette accessoire as, you see, I don't even have everything in here right now, but I carry this as a catch-all. And this would fit in here. Let me put it in and let's see what kind of footprint it takes up. I think it'll take up the entire bottom of the bag. And actually that might, that might just work great. Yeah, it pretty much takes up the entire bottom of the bag there. Now lately I've also had pouch that's my COVID kit. But honestly, I carry that as a, if I need it sort of thing, I almost never need it. But what else might I need? I have my card holder with my ID, my cards, my phone in the outer pocket. I could use some sunglasses. I'm trying to think of what I would need on a regular basis. Um, I for sure would want my Agenda PM that I've been loving so much. And I wouldn't want to put this, even though it would fit in the outside pocket, I think it's too bulky and I want to be careful about not indenting the leather. So I would want this to be inside the bag. And let me show you. So I've got the pochette accessoire and I have my sunglass case laying down. 
And I was about to put this in and say, now this is the point where we start stacking things in the bag, which I don't want to do, because then you've got stuff underneath other stuff that's not very efficient. So I'm gonna stand my sunglasses case up and put this next to it. And now we have that. That works pretty well. And I can still fit other things in the pochette accessoire in there. I still have this pocket free for receipts or whatever I might wanna put in there, something flat. I would not be able to use this as a work bag, especially right now. I would have to take a separate bag for work stuff. If I need to carry planners, I'd have to take a different bag for planners. So I guess with this bag, I just have to keep in mind, it would be similar to me carrying, I don't know, something like, like a Minkoff Edie bag or the Tory Burch Kira or the Coach Melody bag, like a, a shoulder bag and not a tote. <laughs> I just sort of have to remind myself not every bag is a tote. I can't fit everything in every bag, right? And I feel like this says pretty much everything I need right here. I can't think of anything else that I would just have to have. Maybe another card case that has my medical cards in it. So I wanted to stand up and see how that feels on my shoulder. It's a great weight. It's not too heavy with that stuff in it. It'd be very easy to slip my hand in, get my phone out. So that's really comfortable. I did pull in anticipation of doing this what fits and worrying about it, which is silly. I pulled some other SLGs. Don't have anything in them right now, but I wanted to put them in and show you how they fit and just give you some other options besides that one that I just showed you. One is a pouch like this, dress up your purse, similar to the Vuitton Kiragami pouch. This is the largest size. This will hold quite a few things and help keep you organized. And then there are two other sizes inside. So you could use those different pouches and I'll take these out and put them in, in a second, but let me show you what else I have here. The inserts from the Louis Vuitton Felici, these are both flat and thin. I was trying to think of pouches that are thin and that can still hold things and like stacking those inside a skinny bag like that. The Neverfull Pochette, the YSL Bill Pouch, and I have this bag from Coach. You can't buy this separately, although they may sell something like this, but this came with my field tote. So let me try a couple options here real quick. This combination has the large pouch that's similar to the Kiragami, which when I was slipping it in this way, was a little more difficult to get in than I thought. It's just a tad wide and you know, you can get it in, but it doesn't slip out as easily as the pochette accessoire does. And then in all these combinations, I'd like to keep my sunglasses and my little planner in there. And then behind that pouch, I have just slipped down behind it, the card holder and bill holder from the Felici. This is such a useful piece, by the way. If you've ever thought about getting this, it's very handy for narrow pockets like this. Really good. You could also slip the YSL bill pouch down in there. Easy peasy. Let's see. Looks like the Neverfull pouch would fit, but here's the problem. So I pointed out earlier how the bag is wider here and more narrow here. I didn't point out that it's the same here. It's wider at the base and more narrow up here. So even if something is wide enough to fit in the base, it's not necessarily going to fit through the opening at the top. So that doesn't fit this way. If you slip it in this way, it sticks out the top. That means this pouch, which is quite a bit bigger, is definitely too big. This notebook I have, it's a Stalogy. This is what I use for all my planning inside my desk agenda, but this is about the size of a book. So if you're somebody who carries a book around with you, see if that fits, that fits easily. You could also, of course, put it in tall ways. <clears throat> and I'm sure you could get a bottle, like a bottle of water in here, but it's gonna stick out the top. And personally, I would not carry a bottle in here um, just because of the bulkiness of it more than anything but I'd also be concerned about a bottle sweating inside the bag on that microfiber. Well that first combination of things that I put in here with the pochette accessoire, my sunglasses case, and my planner, uh, I liked that. I think that worked really well for me and that's making me think I want to cut the tags off and take off the styrofoam and keep this. Especially since I have the shoulder bag option, that's just my favorite way to wear this one. If this bag was squishier on the corners and everything like the Evelyn, I'd be more tempted to wear it as a crossbody like I do with the little one. But the big one just 
for me personally, my taste, I think shoulder bag is the way to go. Now I'm wondering if I need to go get the black one too while it's available at such a great price or the navy one and or the navy one. But I do really love this color. This is my favorite of the three, so we'll see. Before I let you go, since I did tout this video as basically everything you would ever want to know about the Emery bag, there are a few details about the bag I should mention, especially if you've never seen it in person. So I talked about the leather quality, the kind of leather, how soft it is. I talked about the materials inside, the linings. I talked about how there's piping along the edges of the leather where the leather's been cut, whether it's the edge of the piping or the edge of the straps here, it is glazed. But to my knowledge, Coach has not had the glazing issues that Louis Vuitton has had. So that's not something I would worry about. And this is probably obvious to you with the close-ups and things that I've done and just by looking at it, but the hardware is an antiqued brass look. It's pretty, it's nice. So it's not like super shiny gold. It's also not silver. I don't think I've seen any with silver hardware. The rivets are not just holes in the leather. They have metal rivets there. The strap along with the glazing has stitching on both sides. It's a very well-made, well-constructed bag with attention to detail. All the zipper pulls are metal. <sighs> I think this is a classic style that will be in style for a long time. And even if it went out of style, it will come back into style. On each of these big buckles, on one side, only one, not the other. So one side of this buckle and then the other side of the other buckle. It says Coach on it. That zipper pull says Coach New York. The zipper pull on the top of the bag is the same as this one. This bag has tonal stitching. The little black one does too. So the stitching is not contrasting. It doesn't stand out. I'm not sure if that's the same on all the other bags. The color blocking might have different colored stitching because that's meant to be a bag that stands out more. But now that I've played with this and I've done a little bit of putting my stuff in, a little what fits, I feel like this might stick with me. I'm still gonna sleep on it for another couple of nights probably, but I'm liking it. I love all the different strap options. I love that it can be accessorized. It can be just plain classic simple or you can really dress it up. And remember to check my links, everything I talked about is linked in the description box below. So I think as long as you're comfortable with fitting your stuff inside, and I think maybe I am, you can't really go wrong with this, especially at the price it is now. So yeah, if you like this bag, if you're on the fence about it, I'd encourage you to check it out. Um, you can always just like I was doing, since we're not doing a lot of shopping in person right now, right? Uh, you can always order the bag and if you don't like it, if it doesn't work for you, you can return it. I will say, I found this out the hard way, that if you order from Coach Outlet, I don't know if it's the same on the Coach website because I don't think I've returned anything to them that was an online order, but on Coach Outlet, you do have to pay to ship something back to them. It's probably the same with regular Coach. You can take something back to a store to return it also. We're trying to avoid the stores right now because, you know, there's a pandemic. <sighs> Yeah, you know, I was just thinking, I was looking over at my journal here and back when we could go to stores and restaurants and things, one of the things I love to do is take my planner and just go sit somewhere, have a drink or a little munchies and work in my planner. And this bag would be great for that too because I could just carry my essentials and then carry my planner and a couple of accessories in here and it would be perfect for that. I think I'm talking myself into the bag. Well, like I said, it is New Year's Eve tonight as I'm filming this, so it's uh, it's getting close. I'm gonna go open a bottle of champagne and start celebrating that 2020 is almost over. So thank you so much for watching. I know this was a long video. I appreciate it if you've made it this far. I hope you're doing well. I hope your new year is so much better than your last year. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. I wish you the very best this year. Health, happiness, everything. Health, happiness and handbags. That should be my new slogan. At least for 2021, I wish you health, happiness, and handbags. Yes, you just got to see the genius in motion. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Bye.